Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Slombarski here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to quantize your music so that it sounds a little bit more professional. So uh, listening to a lot of my students' music, uh, one thing that we really need to work on is staying in a tempo, and sometimes that's hard to do for beginners, um, but if we put some time in and work on Soundtrap, then we can make it so that we can... Uh, edit it and it will sound just like a professional made it. So first thing we got to do is set up our metronome, the speed at which we're going to play our song. So um, I'm assuming that you've kind of monkeyed around, improvised, uh, figured out some kind of melody that you want to write or bass, accompaniment, whatever you're writing. And then you're going to go to tap out your tempo to figure out how fast you want to take it. So like if this is going to be my melody then I would click at that same speed. So I'm at about 76 beats per minute. That sounds about right where I'd want it. All right, so now we finally get to record. And always leave your metronome on while you're recording. All right, now it is so, so important that you do your very best to try to stay with the tempo, otherwise it makes everything else harder. So now we can see our notes here. I'm going to double click on it and zoom in. So we can see all these lines right here. Each line is a beat. So you can see at the start I was doing quarter, quarter, then eighth, eighth. So these should be lining up with the lines. Now what we're going to do first is go to edit and quantize it. So this will line them up with the closest um, whatever beat you tell it to. So if I do the closest whole note, it's going to move everything to the whole note. If I do the closest half note, then it does every half note. So a good one to start out on is doing eighth notes or sixteenth notes. So I'm going to do sixteenth notes because um, then they'll just make it really close together. So give back a listen. And if it doesn't line up perfectly with your metronome, now we might need to do some more work. So I'm just going to record one, uh, pretending that I did not do a very good job staying on tempo. And I'll show you what we need to do. So we don't need to listen back because you heard it. So let's just go right in, into looking at it. So as you can see here, already my second note was not on this line. So you can actually click on it and drag it over. So this is where your musical ear will come in handy. You have to know where you want it or at least know what kind of sounds good and what doesn't. So if we quantize it first, always quantize it first, eighth notes or sixteenth notes. Then we can listen back and see how close we really were. So it's like, ah, shoot. Now I gotta think either I gotta record the whole thing again or I can edit it. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more because right now I can only see these quarter note lines. So control right arrow is the shortcut. Uh, now you can see those extra lines. Or you can click this plus over here to zoom in. So now that I've zoomed in, I can see my eighth note lines here. So I go, duh, duh, duh. I know the next one should be on that next quarter note. And then this was going to be an eighth note. So I'll move those in closer. 
Okay, so that note was a little bit later so, than I wanted it, so I'll move it forward. So um, essentially, quantizing will only help you if you are really close to what you want it to be. And then if you weren't close enough, then you either need to re-record or go in like this and move the notes around. And while you're in here, you can make the notes longer as well by clicking towards the end of them. All right, hope this video was helpful. Have fun creating music, everybody. Take care.